Hi again. In this video, we're gonna look at how you can create your own templates within G Suite to be able to set up a document, uh, whether that's a form, a slide, a sheet, or a, a Google Doc, and then be able to re reuse that really easily by submitting it to the template gallery. We're also gonna look at how you can send templates to other people. So we're gonna get started by going straight into Google Docs as our starting point. But we're not going to use docs.new to get into a new doc and we're not going to um, go in via our google drive we're going to go into docs directly using the docs icon in the waffle in the app picker so we're going to go to docs and here we see the normal docs welcome page and here's your option for a blank and here's all your recent documents and here are some templates that you can potentially use and up on the top right here we see we've got the template gallery we're gonna open up that gallery and we can see that there are a range of general templates that are already available like essays, reports from an education perspective, class notes, book reports and lesson plans. But we've also got letters and we've also got things like resumes and CVs, uh, recipes, project proposals, uh, meeting notes, newsletters, brochures and so on. So all of those are available as standard. But what you'll also have in your domain is a domain area for your own templates. And you can see that in my domain here, I've submitted a headed template um, that I can use any time. So all I need to do is to click on this in the template gallery, and it will open up a new document for me. And this was just a really rough draft, which is gonna be um, a headed paper with my logo, my email, and bits and pieces in the headers and the footers. So just a standard letter template. I very rarely send letters, so this was just you know a very basic example. So you can do that with any document and you can submit it to the template gallery. So let's look at how we do that. We're gonna to go to Google Docs again, but this time we can just go to docs.new and create a new document because we've decided that we're gonna start a new one. And we're gonna create here, just very simply, uh, an agenda for the meeting, okay? So we might give that a header, uh, and I'm gonna give it a text title, heading title, and that means it will show up in the document outline on the left-hand side here. Um, I'm going to, just the head of that, make sure I've got the date, and there's the agenda. I'm going to also make sure that we've got um, location and also use the chair. And I'm going to have in here uh, apologies as well. So we can add all of those things in. Now those are in our, our standard um, text and these are in as header styles. So if I choose location here, I can make sure that becomes a header style and then it becomes a, a drop down in the document outline so it's nice and easy for me to find okay i can just do that and that's an easy way of navigating particularly a larger document because then you can just use the sidebar here to get to the various different parts um, and then underneath the agenda i'm just going to insert a nice horizontal line and up here in the header i might want to put a logo so i'm just going to for argument's sake just choose one of my logos um, nice and simply and where are we There we go, so I'm just gonna add this one in here. I'm gonna resize it however I want it. I'm gonna have it over on that side. So I can move it around. You'll notice it doesn't move automatically. So if we click here, we've got size and rotation adjustments and things like that we can play around with. But also we can just say that we want it over on the right hand side, okay? Now you might want that in the header or you might want it in the body of the text, but you want it wrapping so you might decide to go with something a little bit more like that. And say, for example, that's your template. That's what you want to run with. That's what you're going to use. So I'm just going to call this one Agenda Template. And then I'm going to go back to Docs. So I can go a number of different ways, but I'm going to go through my waffle again and go back to Docs, to that home page. I'm going to come to the Template Gallery. 
I'm going to make sure I'm in my own domain and I'm going to submit a template. So I select my document and it will probably show up in my um, most recent files here. There we go, agenda template. If I just click on that. I get the option of whether I want to submit a copy of it or I want to submit the original. So I'm going to submit the original and then if we make any changes to that, that will automatically follow through. Okay, we select a category for it. So we've got lots of options here. So I'm going to put this under, um, let's go for um, calendars and schedules or basics. You know, we've got an option there. It's up to us how we decide to do it. Um, but because it's an agenda, I'm going to put it in calendars and schedules and I'm going to submit that to the template. And there it is under calendars and schedules. I've now got my agenda template, which anyone within my domain can access. Okay, not just me, but anyone can come in here and click on that and create their own one. So that's how we do it in Docs, and it works exactly the same in Slides and in and Sheets as well. So what we're going to look at now is how we can do that in Google Forms. So I'm going to open a Google Form, and I'm going to create one very quickly that I know I'm happy with. So this is going to be a um, exit ticket template. Okay. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is make sure in the settings, I'm collecting email addresses uh, and I'm going to let them only limit uh, to one response. So they can only fill it in once. Okay. Um, I'm going to make it a quiz so it self marks for them. Um, I'm going to give it um, their score back to them immediately, but I'm not going to let them know the correct answers. Okay. Question one, I'm just going to ask them for your name and I'm not going to assign any points to that but I am going to make it a required question. Question two, I'm going to put in here, um, what was the um, key, what was the key focus of the lesson? I might make that a, a multiple choice, just to check. So um, was it gravity? Was it lunar cycles Oops. I could adjust this anytime I wanted to uh, or was it the moon and I make it a required question and in my answer key I'm gonna say that that's the one I want to tick because that's the one that was the correct title I can give them answer feedback so if they got incorrect I can either make them go back or just give them the correct answer okay the lunar cycle it's important to use the whoops correct terms for example okay and correct answers i can just say thanks for paying attention for example okay now i'm just going to save that now i might put two or three questions in there just to kind of um finish that off but essentially this can become now an exit ticket template because I can create it as a template and submit it in the gallery and then I could just tweak the questions. If I always want this style of question, then I've, I've got this already set up. So I can now go to forms via the waffle. And again, we've got a template gallery. I can open up the template gallery. There's lots of examples there already. I can submit my own template exactly the same as we did before. There's my exit ticket. Drop it in there. I'm going to submit a copy of it this time because I might change that original, but this is going to be my basic one I'm going to use. I'd add this to uh, basics and submit, and that then becomes a template in my gallery. So I can, there you go. it says it's added, but it hasn't pulled through yet. Or it will shortly. There we go, exit ticket in template gallery. So it also tells you here. And by clicking on it, it's automatically created me a new one. Okay, so I'm now in a new version. I could change it if I wanted to. I can change these three aspects. Okay, and I can change the answer key, but it's not going to affect that original form. So it's a brand new version and I can just tweak it however I want to. Okay, so that's how we can submit templates to the template gallery. The other thing that I think is really important and really useful to know is that a lot of people use the URL trick 
to provide copies of things for people if they want to use them. So if, for example, I've made a copy of this and I want to sell it to, a, um, I want to send it to another teacher who'd like to use a similar form, I don't want them to use my form because I will get their class's results. So what I would do, or what some people would suggest, is that in the URL at the top bar here, in the Omnibox, a lot of people are suggesting that you take off edit and you put copy. So I'm just gonna show you what happens when you do that, okay? If I open up a new window and copy that in there, I get taken to this page that says, would you like to make a copy of exit ticket? And to know what the exit ticket looks like, I have to press make a copy. And then I've got it. I might decide I don't want it, and that might have cluttered up my drive unnecessarily. Or I might already have it and not realize because I can't see it. So instead of doing that, what I suggest is that instead of changing it to copy, you change it to forward slash template forward slash preview and send your colleague that link and then when you open it up in a new tab what you actually get is a template preview of what it looks like and the button option up here to use as a template and if you click there you get your own one and then it's not connected to the original quiz and it doesn't pull their results through into yours okay so that url trick is a really useful one just change after forward slash edit, change that to forward slash template, forward slash preview and share that link. Give it a try.